Okay, <clears throat> I'm recording a test of a crepe and a cast iron on my stove. I'm at level number four where six is medium. So this is super medium low and I'm already too hot because I can tell my butter is um, turning brown right away. But I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to turn it down to three now. It's already made one crepe. Oh yeah, that's, that's too hot. I think cast iron just keeps its heat. So I pour the batter in and then I swirl it so it has that thin edge. Because that thin edge, and I probably poured in too much batter because of that sizzle. It scared me. Um, that thin lacy edge is what tells me it's ready to be flipped. So already I'm seeing the crepe get kind of glossy, shiny, cooked on the outside, and then just hoping my cast iron gently cooks the rest of it, enough for me to flip it. And that the cast iron is non-stick enough to release it. That's the question. So over already over here, I'm getting a little lift. And I'm just going to play with that little edge to release it. When it gets really thin, sometimes it needs some help. And not quite yet. Be patient. Yeah, I think with the cast iron, you're going to have to go really medium low. Almost low. Because the um, pan just holds its heat incredibly well. Why yeah, we cook with it in campfires. Okay, so I take it the lip and then I go under the, the crepe and flip, yeah. So you can do it, it's not it's not the best pan for crepes. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. Because if you try and move it when you first flip, it hasn't made it seal yet from the heat. As soon as it cooks a little, you'll, it should be able to slide around. And, and typically I'm using my T-Fall non-stick pan. Um, so I can show you the difference. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to let that cook because this is a thicker one. When they're this thick, I think of them more like omelets instead of crepes. And Christopher likes those with cinnamon sugar. So... I sprinkle just a little inside and roll it while they're all cooking. And each time I flip one out, I lay it over the rolled one to kind of reheat it. And then let's try one more now that we're not so hot. I'm not going to butter because the batter has butter. So probably just like that. So you're not getting to the edge, but then you swirl for thinness. And just coat to cover. Your crepe pan's gonna be awesome for that because it's, it's made for this and it'll have your little edge lip that you can roll up into. Sprinkling sugar on the cooked one now while that one cooks. And Christopher will be pumped that he has crepes this morning, thanks to a cooking question. So I have a feeling I'm going to be scraping this one off the bottom of the pan and it's not going to be pretty, but we'll, we'll see because it's just a matter of patience. Even the steaming. So I'm still at a three, which to me is extremely low. But the pan, as you can tell, is still has steam and it's cooking this crepe probably at the perfect temperature so it doesn't brown. Um, I don't think crepes traditionally have a lot of color when you cook them like this has, and that's the cast iron. I love cooking buttermilk pancakes in cast iron. Um, and I've got an awesome New York Times recipe that I use for butter, buttermilk pancakes. Um, and cast iron is my preferred way for that because it gives it that lacy griddle cake feel. 
Okay. Hoping the edges curl here pretty soon. Maybe I will turn it up just a little bit. I can hear the gas going now and I can see that little edge that I pulled away flapping a little bit in the heat. Do I poke at the edges? Yeah. Oh, I might get this off. So, um, I've known people who make a batch of crepes and put them between wax paper and freeze them. My mom used to do that when she would make savory crepes or have it, you know, planned as a meal. That way she didn't have to sit here and do the whole meal at once. I've never done that. It's too much work. I just make them and eat them. Oh, look at this. I can get it off. Wow, that worked. I think crepes and cast iron is gonna take a lot of patience, a lot more than the Non-stick. Okay, so that's my experience with crepes and cast iron. I'm gonna flip back to non-stick here pretty soon. I'm recording a video and this is how he wakes up. <laughs>